Evans Corner spares no effort to bring you closer to the music. This week, we welcome guest conductor Christian Machilaro, who's making his Atlanta Symphony Orchestra debut with these subscription concerts. The first half is a single work, Igor Stravinsky's witty, touching, and colorful ballet, Petrushka. I am seated in the Salle Nijinsky in the Châtelet Theater, part of the foyer, in Paris. This is the theater where Petrushka received its world premiere in June of 1911. That's just one year after Stravinsky's Firebird was premiered at the Paris Opera, and two years before Stravinsky changed the world of ballet, and for that matter, the world of music forever, with The Rite of Spring, premiered at the Théâtre de Champs-Élysées. The patrons in this theater on the opening night of Petrushka must have sensed something was already afoot. Firebird conformed to what Europeans thought about Russians and Russian music. It was grand, beautiful, and it was a fairy tale told in lush, long-lined Russian melodies. Petrushka, with its dark plot of the mischievous puppet that would not die, reinforced some of the Russian stereotypes, but its brash, lightning-quick changes of mood and scene, not to mention the dancing by the great Nijinsky, must have created at least a little unease among the comfortable bourgeois Parisians of the day. You can follow the plot without a synopsis, and the nearly concerto-like piano part is easily a musical stand-in for our hapless hero. Petrushka goes through the trials and tribulations of unrequited love, the terrors of being pursued by the villainous blackamoor, and an eerie immortality, laughing at the end at his tormentors from beyond the grave. This beautiful theater was completed in 1862, part of Baron Haussmann's revolutionary and controversial makeover of the city of Paris. It has housed plays, operettas, and operas. And right now, the Chatelet menu, as it were, during the course of a season is a mix of American musicals as well as grand opera. Tonight, as a matter of fact, I'm seeing the final performance of a brand new production of Cole Porter's Kiss Me Kate. But back to our program in Atlanta this week. We have an Atlanta Symphony premiere on this all-Russian concert as well. One of the pioneers of Russian classical music in the 19th century was Mili Balakirev. Unlike many of the first generation of great Russian composers, he wasn't an amateur. He was rigorously trained. The others all had day jobs, so to speak. Borodin was a chemist, Muzorki was a civil servant, and Rimsky-Korsakov was a military officer. Balakirev wrote in many forms, but boy, could he write for the piano. His so-called oriental fantasy, Islame, has busted the knuckles of many a virtuoso since it was written in 1869. Many years later, the next generation of Russian composers, Sergei Lyapunov loved this music so much, he made a version of it for orchestra. It's no less virtuoso in this form, and it will conclude these concerts in a shower of musical fireworks. Our program also holds a welcome return visit to Atlanta by violinist Karen Gomio. When she came to us a few seasons ago, she showed her classicist side by playing Mozart. This week, she shows her fiery side with the most beloved violin concerto of all, the Tchaikovsky. For me, any performance of the Tchaikovsky concerto will evoke one of the happiest memories of my life. I was 13, studying clarinet in junior high school in Ann Arbor, Michigan, when one morning I wandered into the orchestra conductor's office. He was playing a record on the phonograph. The wild, highly emotional music was brand new to me. And when I asked him what it was, he might as well have been speaking Martian. What was a Tchaikovsky and what was a violin concerto? It was the piece of music that hooked me on the classics and I will never forget the thrill of discovery. Perhaps this week is your first encounter with a classical music concert or perhaps at least the Tchaikovsky concerto. I hope it grabs your heart and mind as powerfully as it did mine all those years ago. By the way, Tchaikovsky conducted a concert in this theater in one of his many trips to Paris, a city he loved. And that brings me full circle to this spot in Paris. Even if you've heard Petrushka before, try to imagine yourself not in Symphony Hall this weekend, but put yourself in your mind right here, June 1911, the height of La Belle Epoque. The storm clouds that would soon engulf Europe in World War I were clearly already forming. But tonight, we're at a glittering premiere with dancers, impresarios and music from mysterious Russia. And when the music begins, a new world opens up and carries you away. For the Atlanta Symphony, or should I say, 
pour l'Orchestre Symphonique d'Atlanta, I'm Evans Barrages. <laughs>